Influencers or celebrities are breaking the internet with their very own brands. And today I have multiple that I'll bet you didn't know were owned by them. And we'll be testing them all to see if they're influencing. Huh? No? Okay. Has really worked on us. We have two categories today. Beauty and skincare and food. Starting off with food because I am a little bit starving. I have got the Kin Euphorics by Bella Hadid. When I first came across these products, honestly, I thought that they were alcohol. I mean, Kin Euphorics, I don't know. I thought that they were going to be like something that kind of, I don't even know. But I looked into the ingredients. Turns out they are alcohol free. They are actually really, really healthy and good for you. So pop off all these influencers and celebrities that are making these popular products like sodas actually healthy for us. I thank you because I usually don't drink soda. So we're going to see if this tastes good. This one is the Kin Spritz energizing flow so it has got it's got 15 milligrams of caffeine it says it's gently caffeinated so i heard i just tried to open it i don't think you can see that i tried to just open it and it's not popping open what okay um hello the gas okay well we'll try this one please work there we go. So I heard from Bella Hadid that these are kind of supposed to be functional beverages for modern rituals. That's literally what it says on the can. So we're gonna try this one. This one is now the Kin Bloom. It's a beaming joy. It's supposed to make me feel joyful, very happy. So we're gonna see, and by the end of the video, we're gonna check if these two drinks, if I can actually get this one open, um, actually did their job, so. Okay, that's weird. It kind of tastes like it's supposed to be like kombucha. Uh, kombucha. What is this made with? Carbonated water, white grape juice concentrate, organic agave inulin. Do these expire? When was this supposed to expire? I literally just bought this of January 2025. Okay, so it's not expired, but it doesn't taste the best. It tastes rancid. Like the taste is almost there, but then you taste like that rancid something that was put in this. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I don't know. We'll see if it makes me joyful, but at the moment, it's kind of making me disgusted. Um, don't try this at home, kids. Oh, shoot. Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay, this tastes like one of the like energy shots. Oh, why do they taste so, ooh. I'm, I'm not liking these the most. This almost tasted like it was supposed to be kind of those like health shots because I tasted the ginger at the beginning. But again, it's like, it's not the same rancid taste, but it is super tart. Like it's not like the ingredients were mixed well together. They don't smell like anything either, which I mean, drinks usually don't. Anyways, yeah, nope. Okay, well, we're gonna see if this one makes me have an energizing flow and if this one brings me some joy. But as of right now, it's making me just feel disgusted, so. On to the next product. It's a good thing we have got another food item because I need something to take this disgusting taste that's in my mouth out of my mouth. So we have got the Be Happy Snacks by the D'Amelio family. Honestly, I saw these just recently and I was very amazed and I really needed to buy some of these products. So when they came out with a snack, we had to see if the quality was just as good as they're making it out to be. So this one is the, oh wow, it smells <clears throat> very strong, but really good. This is the Himalayan pink salt. And they have three different ones. I bought this one, the, as well as the white cheddar. They also have, I think it's cotton candy. I didn't really want to try that, but there is cotton candy if you want that, so. It just tastes like popcorn. I feel like it tastes like skinny pop, actually. Apparently healthier for you. I don't know, I feel like all processed packaged foods are just going to have a downfall. So this popcorn is made with literally just popcorn. Sunflower and or soybean oil, which I'm pretty sure soybean oil is not the best for you. And then Himalayan pink salt. So they definitely taste like nothing with a little side of salt, but not bad. Now for the white cheddar popcorn. You gotta love that sound of opening a bag of popcorn. Actually, this is not the sound you usually have for popcorn, but when opening a bag of chips or whatever, 
Let's see this white cheddar. I'm not the biggest fan of white cheddar. Let's see if the D'Amelio family can influence me to like it. Okay, not bad. They just influenced me to want to eat this whole bag. Or I'm just hungry, who knows? But I did like that they were not bombarding you with all that taste. They were actually pretty good. I gotta say, D'Amelio family, you have definitely gotten me on the bandwagon for at least white cheddar popcorn. The Himalayan popcorn was still really good, but it wasn't like I could binge eat these. It was like a little tiny, it tasted like air with a little side of salt, so still pretty good. Now for the beauty skincare category, we have got Frenchie by none other than herself, Ashley Tisdale, or as so many of us may know her by, and I really hope you also know her by this, or this is gonna be really awkward, Sharpay. I love her. Now in the movies, obviously this is like controversial. I love her, she's iconic. She's a brat at times, obviously, but she's iconic and we love her for that. Now, Ashley Tisdale has her own cute little family. She is, I would love to meet her someday. Like she is an icon and I love her so much. So she has her own kind of home ec products. I'm not really sure what, how to, I'm not really sure exactly how you explain that, but these are two of the products that I bought. She has a whole line and these are from their different lines. Anyways, so she has multiple different scents and so kind of lines. And this one is the Solar Fleur and this one is the Bergamot Cedar. We're gonna start with this one. This is Joy and Bliss Hair, Body and Linen Mist. So, oh, I can already taste a new scent for my entire house and body and just aura in general coming along. This, I mean, not taste it. Obviously, I'm not gonna taste it, but this smells so good. It definitely smells like joy and bliss. I think this is making more joyful than the Kinuphorexes, but we're gonna see. We're gonna give it a chance. We're gonna just spray it. Mm, I love it, and I love that it's natural, right? It has a very natural scent to it. It's paraben free vegan and cruelty free, dermatologist tested. It's infused with essential oils. Gosh, this might be, I need more of these. I need some for, actually, no. We have a different product that we're gonna need to use on my body. So this one for the linen smells so good. Now this one, I saw her promoting this a little while ago and I had to get my hands on it as soon as possible. This is a Balance and Harmony Soothing Body Serum Stick. So I feel like it's, it, it's used just like a lot of the essential oils that you'll use like on your temples or, or wherever. She said that this was one of her essentials. She very much so influenced me to uh, get this for myself as well now. Okay, this one smells, ooh, this one smells super good too. It really does smell like bergamot cedar. It smells like a forest. <laughs> like I feel like this is a scent that someone would use in either the Carolinas or maybe Vermont too. I haven't really been to Vermont but specifically Portland, Oregon. I know, weird, but it says you can glide onto skin anytime, anywhere for body only. So I get really tense in my neck, like specifically right here. So I'm gonna just like put it in the muscular areas that like I feel is most intense. Ooh, it's got a chilling sensation to it. So far, it's super great and I'm obsessed. I love the smell to it as well. I think this smell, I don't know, I don't know which smell I like better. I feel like this is a more fruitier, very happy, joyful, and blissful. The titles to each of these actually portray it very, very well. Like, I feel like this is a very joyful, blissful smell. And then this one was a very balanced and harmonization type of smell. Like, I feel much more at peace and balanced, so. I think I'm gonna need to buy more of these products. Ashley Tisdale, you definitely have influenced me to keep these products in my day-to-day -day life, and I think you need these too. Next product we've got, this is another product by Bella Hadid. This is the Aura Bella Blooming Fire Perfume. Now, and it says these perfumes are alcohol-free and dermatologist tested, so it's suitable for holy mother of a pearl. I think I just found a dragon egg. <laughs> what on earth? Okay, so far I doubt you can actually see that, but it is kind of, it's kind of separated. So it does say that you need to shake well. Um, okay, that's so interesting. This is a very, very different texture. I don't smell like the linen, so we should be able to smell it pretty well. If I can open it, oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta say, 
10 out of 10 validated for the uh, packaging because this is crazy. Hmm. It's a very, very fresh light smell. I actually really, really like that. Yeah, it's a very light. I wish I could explain it to you better, huh? but it's very light. It's very nice. Honestly, I could see that as like a refreshing, maybe summery. Actually, I don't know. I don't know which season you'd actually use that, but it smells super good. And I am a perfume fanatic. I think I have now nine, 10 different perfume bottles. I've started a little tradition where I collect perfume bottles. So yeah. Um, we're adding this one to the collection now, and I think it's pretty good. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, so. But you are getting a lot, which I do like. I don't like when it's like a $150 perfume and it's like three ounces. Pretty good. If you want yourself a little dragon egg, go and get yourself the Orabella by Bella Hadid. Okay, this next product, I'm so excited about. I'm so excited for this one. Next up, we have got the Hugs by Lexi Hensler. So I love her messaging. She obviously made these products for those who have anxiety. Honestly, anyone in general, but I think she was inspired to get these, to make these products for those who are having anxiety. And it's because it is a therapeutic weighted stuffed animal. So I got our little friend, the giraffe. I think he has a name. So let's get started and open this. I, oh my gosh, Aww. how cute. Oh, oh, I don't know, okay. <gasps> oh, wow, when she said they were, when she said that they were weighted, she was not kidding. This thing is heavy. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I really could just cuddle her all the time or him. I don't know, what is, oh. Turns out we get to name our cute little stuffy. So I need you to spam the comments right now what name we should give him or her. And so we can all help name our cute little friend and bring her or him into the world. So it says that these, that this is a therapeutic weighted stuffed animal designed to provide comfort and relief from stress, anxiety, and depression. Oh, I love this. It says mental health is health. I love Lexi Hensler, actually. She's also another YouTuber. So everyone, please go and spam her so that we can meet up, maybe do a collaboration at some point, because that would be super fun. But I love that she is very open with having gone through a lot of different, different mental health struggles and she's very open with it because it's normal and it's something that all of us struggle with even i have a lot of anxiety at times i get super super stressed and i get a ton of mental blocks you just don't see it because on social media things are very sifted through basically we kind of choose what we want you to see so i love that she has that messaging and i love our little friend over here and oh my gosh it even comes with a birth certificate. So please, again, spam the comments so that we can name our little friend. And soon I will choose one of the names that you have provided. But okay, Lexi Hensler popping off. I might actually have to go and buy myself more of these, honestly. Oh, I feel like I'm holding a little baby. I know I'm 21 years old and I should be an adult, but honestly, I'm never going to get tired of stuffed animals. I actually have multiple. That's another collection that I have, funny story. I have multiple stuffed animals that I've collected from around the world, actually. There are many ones, so this one's a bit bigger, but I do have some stuffed animals that are larger. And she, or he, <gasps> should we keep her there while we um, continue to the next item? I think yes. All right, remember when I mentioned that I am a perfume fanatic? <laughs> We've got yet another perfume to be testing. This one is the Cosmic by Kylie Jenner. I feel like every influencer or celebrity is coming out with their perfume, so maybe I need to hop on that trend because I am obsessed. <gasps> Wait, we are literally building my whole imaginary brand as I'm going through all of these different things that we're testing. Next up is gonna be perfumes. So if you want perfumes, like this video so that I know. <gasps> okay, cute. What? I love this. Wow, I can see myself through this little tiny ball. Oh my gosh. I could like use this to do my makeup. Just kidding. It's like one of those fish eye lenses where it's like, oh. Yeah, right? I think that literally portrayed exactly what I'm seeing through this. So, pack.
packaging is on point, I'm obsessed, but the scent is what really matters. So, this one we've got Orabella. Now let's test Cosmic and let's see which one. Oh, okay, maybe we're gonna have to keep our friend on here. Let's see which one. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Sorry. Which one we're gonna like more? Oops, I missed my arm. Oh my gosh, I think I found my favorite. I. Oh my gosh, I legitimately just found my favorite perfume and this is gonna be what I'm known for, Kylie Jenner's perfume. <laughs> this stuff smells so good. This is definitely on the sophisticated side, which is, is very much so her. She's very, she's got her shiitake together. Thank you. Um, she's really businesswoman, boss woman. She's got children. Honestly, please spam in the comments for me to meet Kylie Jenner at this point now too. I mean, amazing icon like the icon of icons honestly oh my gosh i have never smelled a perfume that like attaches to me or like identifies that i like identify the most by this stuff is so good of course i'm taking the cap off to try and smell that nope okay wait clear the smell Hmm, she even smells cute, or he. They're both so, so good, but this one just is very sophisticated and it's very like, bam! Clelea in the house, y'all. That was obnoxious. Um, Yeah, I gotta say, Kylie Jenner, you won for the little perfume battle that we had without really having. I think, honest, I really think that Cosmic is definitely worth buying compared to the Orabella. Orabella is great for its own different types of reasons, but this one is like, oh my gosh, get your hands on this thing ASAP. Now, not only is this one $78 for 100 milliliters, but it also smells super great. So for the pricing and the scents, this one you're winning by a long shot. But again, if you like this type of a smell, it is a little less sophisticated, a little less like powerful and like icon. It is super, super nice scent and I will definitely be using it, but the Cosmic is, I mean, it's, it is what it is. The Kardashians and Jenner's products are just as iconic as this one. Another little top secret secret for you, so pay attention. That's all I'm saying. This next product line is owned by one of my favorites, the Icons, ITK by Brooklyn and Bailey. First of all, packaging is on point. I love these kinds of colors, the muted, vibey colors. So, so cute. This is their skincare line, so take notes if you know what I mean. Just kidding. And so, and for today, we have got the Milk to Foam Gentle Cleanser, the Hydrating Milky Toner, as well as their Soothing Under Eye Stick. They have multiple different products for different reasons and some of the same products but different purposes. So obviously I got the Milky Toner and Cleanser because I need a much more hydrating skincare and they had exactly that for me. So, now for the Milk to Foam Gentle Cleanser. We're gonna see if this actually goes from milk to foam. Oh, well for starters, you definitely are pretty milky in there. Ooh, I love, I love, that's all I can say. I love the texture of this. It's like a cleanser version of, of Hailey Bieber's glazing milk, so. Now the real test is if it's going to turn to milk, so. Now it says that it removes grime and makeup to cleanse skin. I definitely can feel it, like not just lathering on there, I can feel it kind of taking effect and really stripping my face of whatever I had on my face but also still being super soothing and and hydrating too. So I don't know if this cloth is gonna actually clean this off, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> Reality check, Timu and Shein skincare you really should not be using. So um, anyways, but they really were very open about how they had blemishes every once in a while and they created products that really actually worked. So I feel like these were handmade, they were made with care, made with love, and I love when influencers and celebrities do that. So this is now the mi Hydrating Milky Toner, and it's got, I don't have a cotton ball or whatever. I don't have like a cotton pad to put it on, but I'm gonna just go like this and I'm gonna use my fingers. Um, I also feel like the, like Kylie, Kylie Jenner specifically, um, does that a lot. I love, 
I've been obsessed with their show. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been watching their show a ton lately. So um, maybe that's why you're gonna hear a lot of random facts from me and hear about my obsession because I need to share it with someone and I'm glad that you're here to listen. So anyways, she will like go to the factory. She'll go to where it's being made and she will test it. She'll mix them together. She will be very hands on with the whole process and she makes sure that it's quality products because sometimes the products are just in the name and the product's expenses and kind of popularity is just in the name. I feel like a lot, honestly, a lot of influencers and celebrities are just that. So I love that Kylie Jenner, oops, I think I put too much because it is now, I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. It could just be because the soap is still like in my face maybe, I don't know. Okay, I feel very hydrated. This felt very, very milky, honestly. I mean, I really love the product. I think it's super great. Obviously you're gonna have to like figure out your routine, when to use it, where to use it and whatnot, but they are pretty great. And now the soothing under eye stick. But I was saying they're very hands on and I love when people are very hands on and they're wanting to make a quality product for the price. So it's really important that you are checking the quality you're getting for the price that you're paying because sometimes you don't need to be paying that expensive of an amount for a product and you can find something that's cheaper. And that is exactly what I am here to help you with, boo. So I love this. I feel honestly, I feel like this is one of those um, gestures, but this is very, very light. Um, I just, I was kind of expecting, because it says it's a soothing under eye stick, I was expecting it to kind of be like the Frenchie product, a cooling feeling to it, but you don't honestly feel this at all. But this has caffeine and aloe vera, and you apply it under your eyes for... Oh my gosh, these are made in Korea. These ones are made in the US, but this is made in Korea. So, Korean skincare product over here, yes ma'am. I don't know if you'd actually consider that Korean, so. Anyways, we're gonna consider it Korean. Anyways, those are all of the products that we have for today. If you know of any other influencers or celebrities that I have not yet tested and that I should test, make sure that you leave a comment in the description box below. Now is the time to check. Yeah, they smell quite questionable. Um, I mean, I would say that I'm pretty attentive now and that could just be because I'm waking up and I'm more awake now or it could have been from these products. I don't want to tell you to buy them because the taste of them was not my favorite and I, I don't know if that was because of this one that I got. Maybe it was in the process. Maybe I forgot to... I left them in the fridge the whole time so I'm not really sure but they could have actually taken effect. I do feel pretty attentive and great. So... I, I'm not sure if that was, if Bella Hadid has influenced me enough to use that product and to influence you to use the product, but it's there if you want it. Or you could just go and get yourself a kombucha or one of those other drinks. Anyways, again, remember, make a comment about our little friend over here. This product you need. You honestly need one of these. I feel like it, it helps me. I feel like I have a buddy and I have, and you can use this for when you're on your period because you can heat it up. You can use it to cool off, maybe if on your period you need not a heating pad and a cooling pad, you can also cool him or her down. So yeah, honestly, I think that all of these products were, I say this was a 10 out of 10 review. And I'm glad you've been here. If you're here until this very moment, I love you. And I love everybody else too, but I love you. So check out this video and make sure to spam the comments with these emojis so that I know you came from this video and you are, an OG. I'll see you there. Bye!